Insurance Valuation Management for Commercial and Strata Buildings. Now, underneath the, the strata legislation, there's a requirement to insure the, the body corporate in the common co property asset. So we'll have a look at um, some of the requirements under the legislation and um, what goes into a insurance valuation and we'll look at a bit of a case study a little bit later on as well. Okay, so what is an insurance valuation? So it's the replacement value that involves the construction of the building having the same functional use or the same usable area as it was originally built. So basically, it's design, an insurance valuation is a, like a replacement um, valuation. So if something happens to the building, then there's enough money to put aside to look after that building um, to remove all the debris and bring that back to its original state. We'll have a look at one of the insurance valuation reports in one of the other issues. So some of the items that we need to look, look in here for the, um, the insurance policy. So the insurance policy must cover for damage and cost association with the reinstatement of the building. So that's a, a removal of debris, um, professional fees, council fees so there's about five or six items that need to be done in there so we need to keep an eye on that also the body corporate must take out public risk insurance over the common property for its assets to reduce its risk to the body corporate now this can also be affected by uh, asbestos and that in the workplace so if there, there's been some buildings where there's been asbestos roof and there's their insurance co cover was denied and some buildings haven't got insurance cover because of the asbestos roof and that to replace um, a whole roof to um, to get their insurance okay so as part of the public risk there's been some incidents where people have been uh, falling over and that on site so that's getting higher and higher in the litigation and what's happening in it in, in Australia. Um, slips, trips and falls on pathways is, is one of the highest items that uh, have been going on in the in the legal and entities um, in Australia. Alright, so we're going to have a look at um, an event that happened a little while ago. So this complex was two units, there was fire in one unit which is actually spread to another unit so you can see the intensity of the fire um, in this building from here where there was a pet shop next door and actually some of the fire penetrated into the the building next door so as you can see it was just a, a total write off event now w we tracked this from the beginning to the, to the end of, of the project now you see so this has been after the, the, the event. Now this this sat here for over four months, exactly at this site. So they just had their temporary fence up, and um, that just sat there for um, that amount of time. Now for the removal of debris, you can see in the next slide here where the damage a little bit to the the building in that next door, and this side here there's a fair bit on this side as well. So this set sat, sat still for another 12 months after that and then finally another another six months and that after that they finally started construction and then this is the final uh, part of the building so the total loss of rent which is one of the components of your insurance policy was $320,000 so we need to make sure that there's enough money put aside for loss of rent so for the carpet companies if they've got another place to rent to if it, if it was owned by them or whoever the, the tenant was that that's going to be lost income for that business so if you've got any questions about the sinking sinking funds insurance valuations occupation health and safety you can either contact Sydney or myself and we'll be happy to help you we'll be looking at one of the other insurance valuations in the next series